Hi, I'm TC, welcome to CapCut Desktop YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll make an overview of the main functions of CapCut for desktop. Let's do it! Okay, after you install CapCut, if you don't know how to install CapCut, the first video of this YouTube channel shows you exactly how to do it. After you install, I recommend you to sign in with your Google account or your Facebook account. If you don't sign in, maybe a watermark will appear at the end of your video. So if you sign in, that's okay, no watermark. After that, you can go to settings over here and click on settings again and check it out this save to box you can click it choose a friendly folder for you to save your CapCut files the default folder is very underground it's hard to find so you can choose a friendly folder for you okay save it and now you can click on new project now your session has that name 0416 so you can click on it and put a real name on it it's time to import your video files and audio files for you to edit, okay? So you can click here in import and choose the files you want to work with. I will choose these four files and they are here. We have two audio files and two video files. Now I want to import one of these videos to our timeline. So I will choose this one and I can import it clicking on this plus sign here or if you click here, you will have a previous version here okay i'm not sponsored by pokestars just the cap that i use well and you can trim the video here from above if you don't like the entire video to go to timeline you can uh, trim here and trim the end to surgically put this on timeline here i like it plus sign and now our video is here on our timeline let's Check it out by pressing the space bar. I'm smiling, starting. I will start to talk. So there's a lot of silence that I will cut. And here I start to talk. Did you know that CapCut video? All right, so we can trim the start here with mouse. Look at the cursor. So I will trim here. Right. And now when I press the spacebar did you know that I start talking immediately so I can do the same thing with the ending here I can just let's make it short here so at the end free and powerful desktop version all right that's our little short video for today if you put anything above the video like this other video it will show in front of the video so let's trim because it's a gigantic video when the cursor reaches this part the video from above will overlay the video from below let's check it out powerful and free see well just for an example I will delete the above video now I want to import some audio I have this audio BG audio background okay just click and drag simple just like that trim the ending and now I'll have check it did you know that CapCut video it's a very loud audio file so I want to <laughs> reduce the gain the volume of the audio so if I click on the audio and check it out the cursor now it changed so I can reduce Check it. Did you know that CapCut video? All right. I can use the CapCut library also to import audio and import video. Check it. Media tab, library, and go. I like this. Three, two, one, go. I will put this over here. I will put this here. Now, check it out. The beginning of the video. Three, two, one, go. Did you know that? And you can choose with these video samples in the media tab library. Okay, let's edit the footage. When I click on some video item, here, upper right, 
we have a lot, a lot of options for edit this video sample, this video item, let's call it that way. We have a lot of tabs, video tab, audio, speed, animation, track and adjustment. And inside video tab we have basic tab, cutout, mask, enhance. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will show you the basic ones. For more advanced features, more videos will come. In the video tab, in the basic tab, we have position and file. It's one of the most important functions here. If you adjust the scale, check it out, the video becomes smaller or bigger. You can also mess with the scale <laughs> here manually. You can do it this way. You can adjust the position also, right, left, but you can adjust the position right here. But it will be slower, like here also as well. You can rotate the video, let's type 50 degrees, or you can do it right here. In the cutout tab, you can do some chroma key when you shot a video with a green screen behind you, and you can auto cut out. Look at that, it's processing, and when it reaches 100%, it will cut out the background. Look at me now. Hi, did you know that CapCut Video Editor has a... Yeah! Okay, let's turn it off for now. In the Enhance tab, we can do some amazing things. Look at face options. You can smooth, look at my face, I'm a baby right now. Smooth the face. Do not try the 100 function. I like to play around 30, it's okay. You can brighten your face. You can also... <laughs> <laughs> produce white teeth and in a hundred I become an alien let's find some teeth material look at my teeth so you can mess around with this with moderation back to the basic tab we can use the keyframes here every time we have this little icon we can use keyframes to animate some things for example I would like at this point of the video, okay, the scale now it's 108%. Okay, I will add a keyframe, all right, and around here I would like it to grow to 120, okay, keyframe, and check it out what will happen. Did you know that CapCut Video Editor has a power? Wow! That's amazing! And in any place of CapCut Desktop, if you find this little icon here, you can do a keyframe and animate and do some automation, right? Okay, let's click on our audio item. There are not that many tabs in audio, but you can, in the basic tab, you can adjust the volume like I did. You can do some fade in. Look here, okay? When I do a fade in, our background Gross. Did you know that CapCut video... Right, and we can do some fade out as well. And you don't need this tab to do this. Check it out over here. You can do the fade with your mouse over here in this little, little, little circle. You can do the fade out and fade in as well. You can do some noise reduction if you have a noisy environment and some voice effects. I will do some voice effects here in this main item. Audio, voice effects. Let's try Elf. They are all very funny. They are not that serious or enhancers. It's a comic sounds. Hi, did you know that CapCut video editor? See? Alright. If you want to delete some keyframe, like this zoom keyframe that I did. That CapCut video editor. Okay. You can go to video. Here, this arrow, you will localize the, the next keyframe. And if you click on a blue keyframe, it's gone. And the next arrow, click again, and it's gone. We are not zooming anymore at this moment of the video. In this speed tab, you can play the video faster or slower. So let's try that about three times faster. Look, the video item got smaller, so let's check it out. 
incredibly fast and useless, but you can do some experimentation over here. Also, if you want that squirrel kind of voice, you can check it out here. Click here, voice tone change. So I would talk like a chipmunk. <laughs> okay, any item here in timeline can be animated in the animation tab and the in animation tab out and combo. Let me explain these options for you. The in is what will happen when the video starts at your timeline. So I will click here in. Let's see, shake two. Okay, just by clicking, it shows you, it gives you a preview. Again, I like it. So I can choose the duration of this effect. It's a very fast one, but I can make it slower Did you know that okay and just by clicking it's added to the clip if you if you look here we have a little arrow here okay showing that we have an in effect and the out effect the same thing in the end of the clip what will happen so you can do some slide up slide right whatever you want or a combo one that I do not recommend. It's an effect that will last the entire video. For fast clips or for some stickers or for uh, fast things, the combo is a great idea. But for long clips, I do not recommend it. Cool, here in the audio tab, we can add some music, okay? We can add some sound effects. For example, explosion. Explosion, just... A very strong explosion so i do not like it. it's a very <laughs> aggressive we'll try some ding ding okay that's nice and i will put it here just for showing you so did you know that did you know ding you can add as many as you want in the text tab we can add some text like default text don't just uh, drag it here Okay, let's type good job. Let's change the font. We have your computer fonts. Let's show this one. It looks good already. We can bold it, underline it, italic color, some style. You can do a lot of editing here. It's amazing, some stroke, some background, some shadow. You can put this font in a bubble that I do not recommend, it's horrible, but well, maybe you can save some samples here. Right, or you can add a text template. It's very nice text templates over here. Let me delete the good job and let's this brand hoodie, brand hoodie over here. Nice, so I will change the text to good job. Amazing! Let's reduce the size and put it here on the right. And let's put the ding one, the ding sound effect, here. Yeah! We can add some stickers. Why not? Uh, let's see this like button. Okay, so... Did you know that? Yay! And you put the size and we can now dislike button oh no it's okay like button <laughs> use as many as you want you can use some effects as well like for example this cam recorder i like it very much so you can put inside your clip your video item or you can put it above so in only in this part of the video the effect will come in and go out and you can put this effect to last the entire video or just some fraction of the video you choose it you can put some transitions as well let's see I will make a cut here okay clicking here in split I will reduce this one and I would like to add a transition between these two clips video. Did you know? okay when I made a mistake video. Did you know? it's a raw video guys okay so I'll click in transitions and let's 
CW swirl. Just drag here between these two clips. Let's check it out. Video. Did you know that? Amazing. It's simple like that. We can add some filters to colorize to to give a drama so you can put this let's try this robust robust it's okay i will put this reaching the entire video so let's check it out the video right now oh but it's very strong can you do something about it of course we can when you click on filter you have the strength slider here a hundred percent you can reduce it about 30 percent it's okay for you okay 30 percent when you add a nice filter is a jump in quality right here on the left of the video we have the selection tools you can press v or click here to select something okay some clip you can also press c or click to split some clips right here is the undo function or redo function. Also, this trash can here deletes what is selected. Like, let's see, let's select some, this robust clip and delete it, right? You have more options. Like you can reverse the clip, so we will play backwards. You can mirror the clip, so left is right and right is left. You can uh, rotate the clip and also you can crop the clip when a cursor is showing some video you also can freeze the video so we will have a print screenish kind of image that you can use over here you can increase or decrease what are you seeing in editing you can change the ratio of your video i would like some square format for instagram so one to one right but i like to go back to original here we have some important functions as well turn off main track magnet when this is turn it off and you delete something check it out it will not snap to the next clip with the left clip okay when i activate this function check it out whoop it's snapping here it's a very important one turn off auto snapping when auto snapping is turn it off and i move around with some clip it will not suggest, will not auto snap this clip with another edge of another clip. When I do, when I activate, look, it will snap when I, when the mouse, when the clip goes next, another clip. Here it's linkage. When it's turning off, when I delete some clip, it will delete only the clip and not the other stuff that are linked to it. When it's turning on, when I delete something, it will delete also the linked clips. Also, it helps with moving. Check it out, it's linked, so everything is moving along. Here you can control the zoom of your timeline. If you click here in shortcut, we'll have access to all cap cuts, shortcuts. You do not have to memorize all shortcuts, but I like to memorize the split one, the split and the split all, so you can split faster. Here in left, you can mute some audio so if you do not want to listen the audio bg you can mute it you can also lock the track from prevent you to do something with this track if you right click on a clip you can copy cut delete the basic stuff you can select more than one clip like this one and with the control press this other one and this other one and this other one and you can right click and create a compound clip so now it's just one clip and everything you do will affect all clips and also you can undo this thing clicking on undo compound clip everything is back to normal you can do more stuff here like group if you don't want to compound clip you can group it so they are grouped and behave in the same way or ungroup of course and finally you can export your work your session your video clicking here on export you have to choose a title for your video you'll choose where to export it okay here you can choose your resolution your bitrate but if you were a beginner and don't want to mess with these settings you can leave it standard and just click on export and wait for the rendering and that's it a basic oh! overview of CapCut for desktop if you like it this video please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week see ya